I suppose have some games. Hey guys, welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. I'm out here freezing my ass off, working on the G Bodies like I always do, and I figure I'd make a video on one of the more popular swaps that people do or would like to do on their G Bodies, and that is uh, installing uh, bucket seats and a center console. Now, this goes uh, for any G Body uh, as far as uh, the installation goes, and uh, if you guys know that G Bodies came in with uh, many different styles of interiors. Uh, solid bench seat, 60-40 bench seat, and of course the bucket seats and console. And even some of them, the earlier ones, uh, 78 to 80, came with bucket seats without a console. So that was kind of a, a rare option, kind of a, a odd option, if you ask me. Uh, but they all, you know, they came that way. So uh, what people like to do is pull the bench seat out and install bucket seats and a console because, of course, that is something uh, that's cool. Uh, people like it, some people don't like it. So uh, I'm not going to go through the step-by-step -step installation process, but I'm, I am going to show you guys uh, what's all involved uh, in doing so and what the brackets uh, look like as far as the console goes. Because uh, I've had a couple people ask me, uh, you know, can I just pull the bench seat out of my car and uh, bolt in bucket seats and be done with it? Well, that's uh, not really how it goes. Uh, there are a couple more brackets that need to be well into the floor, and uh, same with the center console as well. You can't just go ahead and, and screw uh, screws right into the floorboards. I mean, I guess you could, but your seats will be lopsided, and your console uh, will uh, wobble all over the place. So uh, here is the 78 uh, Cutlass Calais. Now uh, the Calais, all the Cutlass Calais, Monty SS's have bucket seats and consoles. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that because some of the later Monty SS's had uh, bench seats and uh, column shifts, which is kind of odd. So I shouldn't say every Monty SS had bucket seats, but every Cutlass Calais had bucket seats. And like I said, some of them, some of the earlier ones did not have consoles and especially the four-speed cars. So, uh, you know, this is a, a typical installation of what it looks like. Bucket seats, console. Let me close this up. Now, let me walk over to the 78 Cali 4-speed. Now, this is a bucket seat car without the console. So, there you go. You got the uh, console delete because the 4-speed right there. And now the uh, the Malibus, they do have a center console with the 4-speed. So, that is kind of neat with the Chevys and the Monte Carlos do that as well. And I also believe the Grand Prix do that. The Grand Prix... Uh, Pontiac uses the Chevy style console. So the Chevy console is shorter than the Olds console and that's why they can put one in in the uh, Malibus and Monte Carlos. So that is what that looks like. So now let me walk over to the 79 Supreme. Now this car I have everything tore out of it so you guys can see exactly what it all is uh, laying down on the floor in regards to uh, how all the bucket seats and consoles mount. So, now if your car, any G body, if it has a solid bench seat, you're gonna have these outer brackets that run near the rocker panel on the outer part of the floorboards on either side. And if it is a solid bench seat, you are not gonna have these inner brackets. There and there. Now if your car has a 60-40 split bench, it has those inner brackets. So you're in luck if you have a 60-40 split bench seat. If you have a solid bench, you will have to buy these brackets off of someone who cut them out of a floor, or there are people on eBay that sell these brackets as well. And I wanna say that you can buy these brackets aftermarket now. So that is definitely a good thing. It's, it's very easy to do. All you really have to do is bolt those brackets to the bucket seat frame itself and then set the bucket seat in the car, bolt the seat down on this side, and these brackets are gonna line up exactly where they need to go. Mark the holes, or they mark the places in the floor, and then go ahead and tack weld them in. So that is very easy to do as far as the bucket seat installation goes. Now, as far as the console goes, these are the brackets that the console mounts to. You can see right here and here is where the Oldsmobile uh, console mounts to. Now these are universal brackets 
So there are a couple of other holes maybe used in uh, the Monte Carlo or Chevy or Malibu setup and uh, could be using a couple of other G bodies. So that is the rear bracket. Here is the center hump. Let me pan back here. You can see the uh, center uh, support there. And there's the rear bracket. Then there is also a center bracket and then the front bracket. Now the console, at least with an Oldsmobile setup, uh, these two brackets here are where the shifter mounts. So the shifter mounts in those two holes and these two front holes. And the console then sits over top the shifter and the front part of the console screws to the shifter frame itself. And then you also have the hole in the floor and that's where the shifter cable goes through. So, you know, people uh, often wonder, okay, where do I, where do I position the console uh, in order to put these brackets in? Well, the consoles do have a, a bump in them, so uh, you can set the console over the bump and kind of position your brackets. But what I'm going to do here is I'll get a tape measure, and uh, and I will go ahead and measure out the uh, distance between the center support to each one of the brackets for you guys. So anyone who's doing an installation, this might help you out. Uh, now, keep in mind this is an Oldsmobile style console, and I believe the uh, Buick Regals use uh, the same console as well. As far as the Malibu's Monte Carlo's Grand Prix, uh, I'd have to pull apart my Malibu, which I may do, because uh, I do have to swap out the carpet in that car, and I will measure those out as well if you guys need that information. So, uh, give me one second, I will uh, go ahead and measure this out. All right, the rear bracket from the center hump, we're looking at three and a half inches right there. All right, now the, let me sneak in here. Front bracket. Front bracket from the center hump, two and three quarter inches. And let me get the, uh, the very front bracket. Front bracket. We are exactly at 14 inches. Okay, and for the shifter cable hole in the floor to the center hump, we're looking at just a bit over 17 and a half inches. All right, guys, so there you go. There's basically what you need to do as far as installing bucket seats and the center console, and there are a few measurements for you. So I hope you guys uh, can use that. I thought I'd shoot a quick video on this since I had this car all apart and all the brackets were exposed. So, all right, guys, until the next classic G-Body Garage video, don't forget to subscribe, leave those comments, and keep those G-Bodies rolling.